Hello. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage many to many relationship in Power BI. At least once in a while, you would have come across this kind of problem where you have two tables and the relationship. When you try to create a relationship, it says many to many relationship exists and throws you some error. So today with a simple example, I'm going to show you how you can handle this kind of situation. This is the sample data set which I've created for the purpose of this demo. You have two tables. One is orders. You can see the date of order, the date at which the customer placed an order and also the customer name. So this is a dummy data. So I've just named it as A, B, C, etc. for the ease of understanding and the number of items ordered by each customer. And then if I go back to my another sheet so i have the feedback date so whenever a customer place an order so after a certain point of time they get a survey and they answer the survey and you can see the date in which the feedback was received so it's more of like uh, uh, jan 10 so i kept it uniform so we are not going to use this but you have the customer name. So if the customer had three orders on different dates, they would have received uh, the feedback for each order. So you can see three ratings for three different orders. But you, uh, let's assume that you don't have order number here. So only thing you have is customer name and also the ratings. So if I want to build a relationship between the orders table, so that is your customer name and then the ratings provided by the customer so for various orders so if i'm trying to link these two columns probably i will be getting an error because it says many to many relationship you can see you have customer name repeated three times for the customer a and similarly the same customer had placed three orders on different dates so so having this uh, scenario Let's see how we can solve the problem in Power BI. So let's, let me quickly move to Power BI desktop and then load this data. So let me quickly load this two tables, orders and ratings table, click on load. Okay, so the load is complete. So now if I, It's saying creating connection, loading data to model. Let's give it a couple of seconds. Okay, it's complete. Okay, so if I go to the model, you can see I have two tables, orders and ratings. So now I want to link these two table uh, columns, customer name and the customer name in the ratings table. So if I try to create a relationship, I get an arrow. It, it throws me a warning saying, uh, this relationship has cardinality many to many and et cetera, et cetera. So, so now let me make some changes to the query and then see if we can establish a relationship between these two tables. So now let me select the transform data and then so basically what I'm going to do is select the customer name. Okay, so what I'll try to do is create a unique table with a field called customer name. So it will have all the values coming, uh, appearing both in orders table and ratings table and then use this unique table as a join or the linkage between these two tables. So what I'm going to do is customer name and then add as a new query. So what I just did is I selected the orders table and then I selected this cost uh, column customer name and then right click add as a new query. Okay. So I get a list of all these uh, items in this particular uh, customer name. 
So I'll convert it to a table. Okay. Okay, so a uh, uh, table is created, customer name. Let me do the same thing from ratings table. So let me select the ratings table and then highlight the customer name and then right click and add as a new query. And then once it is converted into a query, I'll click to table, click on okay. So now, uh, two columns are created, uh, two tables are created. So it will have all the unique records in the customer name. So you can see here, there are like 23, 23 total records and here I have 21. So now what I'll do is I'll click on the customer name and then click on append. I want to append one after the other so that I don't miss any of the customer names. So append queries select append queries. I want to append the second table that is customer underscore name. Okay. So I'm going to add this together and then click OK. So now this table has the complete data. So it's, it, it includes the data coming from the customer name from this table as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the duplicates. So I don't want uh, this particular column, right? If you can see here, it has duplicates. A has repeated three times, B two times, etc. So I don't want to have duplicates in this table. So I have an option here. So right click, let me show it again. Right click on this column and then select remove duplicates. Okay, so the duplicates is removed. Okay, and then this column, I don't want this column. I just need one column that is unique uh, customer name. So I can remove this column. So what I'm gonna do is I'll disable enable load so, to, uh, so that I don't see it in my model. So uncheck this one, close and apply. Apply changes. Okay. So now you can see you have a new table, right? Customer name. Okay. So let me rename this column to something else. It says column one. Let me rename as a key. Customer key. Okay, so you can see you have only unique customer names, A, B, C, D. You don't have any duplicate values. That's the main uh, linkages between these two tables. So now if I go back to my model, you can see I, I, it's changed to customer key. So what I'm gonna do is just create a relationship between these two tables first. Okay, it's taking time. And then create a link between these two tables. So this table, right, which has a unique customer names, act as a bridge between these two tables, orders and ratings table. So now if I go back to my report and then create a metrics here, let me bring this to center. And then I want the customer key because it has all the records and bring it to the rows. And then I want to see the number of items ordered by each customer. So I'll bring this here. Okay. So now let me bring this one as well, ratings. Okay. The sum of ratings. The sum of ratings may not be very much helpful. So I'm going to create a new measure called average ratings. 
So I want to see what is the average ratings given by each customer so that I know which is which customer has the highest ratings on an average. So I'll create a matrix called average and then the ratings and then hit enter. It's taking some time. Okay, so let me bring this here. You can, let me expand this. So you can see the customer A on an average has given 3.67 ratings out of five. So if you look here, customer I, he has given an average five ratings. So if you want to double check this one, let's quickly move to the Excel. So let's remember this A, 3.67 and I, five. So let me go back to the Excel. As you can see here, the customer A, so on an average, he has rated, let's do this, 3.66. That's what you get in the Power BI. Similarly, customer I, you can see there's only one rating and he has rated five. So that's what you see in uh, the Power BI. So it's working as expected. So, that's all for today. I hope this video helps you to better understand the many-to-many -many relationship. If you like, just give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Thank you.